Good evening. We're so happy that you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. He was upset when that first started because I just gave him his very first wet willy. Unless you've given him a wet willy before. No, I haven't, surprisingly. I had a weird day. Peter is still numb? No, but now I'm in pain. Oh gosh, you I gotta... Have, I had fillings down mm -hmm. at the dentist. Oi! We bought Jamesy his own toothbrush. Ooh, ooh, he's a big kid. <laughs> I have my sous chef with me. She looks very serious. And by sous chef, I mean Eve is always in the kitchen when I cook because she wants the veggies. Um, but I'm going to make a vegan gumbo tonight. I will link the recipe I'm following below. I don't have a lot of like the fancy ingredients. So I'm just like using normal flour, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that is the plan for dinner. We got some fancy bread and <laughs> we have bread solely to dip in the gumbo. And my priority is to make sure we eat that bread before it goes, you know, how bread gets. So that is what I'm making. And we might be making pasta, like homemade pasta. Um, we talked about it earlier, but I don't know. Also like, I'm getting very, very dry. Like my hands are super dry. I just noticed in the camera. So don't mind that. It's just winter in Chicago. So I've made a roux. Then it says to take it out and put set aside in a bowl. So it's kind of different. Now I'm sauteing a large onion, some carrot, and a whole lot of garlic before adding in a quarter cup of veggie stock. All right, there's a lot of chopping in this recipe. Green Chef did it right whenever i would start those it would always start with me chopping everything i should learn from that so just so you know if you plan on making this lots of chopping but in went two cups of mushrooms a green pepper and a cup of tomato puree so that is why it was in our grocery haul the other day i did not realize it was for the gumbo now it is time for all the herbs a tablespoon of sage a tablespoon of thyme a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I already put it in and it's like in the air making me sneeze. A chipotle chili minced with one teaspoon of adobo sauce. I only have like the sauce. I don't have the chili, which I actually am not crazy about chipotle chilies. So I also put in some chipotle powder and then tamari, two tablespoons, but I don't have tamari. So I use soy sauce as a replacement, but it is typically saltier than tamari um so just keep that in mind if you're doing the same thing okay all of that has been added in as well as two cups of okra and three cups of red beans okay the roux has been added back in gonna mix that in good and then two cups of the veggie broth or water Whatever you prefer. All right, so now it just has to come to a boil over medium heat. And then, what does it say? Lower it to a simmer once it's boiled and let it cook for 10 minutes. I also have white rice going now to um, serve it over. We're not, we might make pasta. I don't know, I feel like I wanna eat the pasta fresh. I don't think, we decided we were hungry, so we we just wanna eat before we make the pasta. So maybe we'll do pasta tomorrow night. Um, but anyways, it smells really good, but I'm gonna be honest, when I just took a little taste, it was a little blah. It had heat to it, but I'll probably have to spunk it up, but I'll let you know whatever I end up doing. Um, so now we just gotta wait. We came in to sneak a little taste of the gumbo. <laughs> And James started playing with all of Eve's treats, so she's very perplexed what's going on. 
and he's very busy at work. Oh, the gumbo is spicy, and oh, the gumbo is delicious. Yeah, I like it a bit better now that it's. <clears throat> I said it was kind of like. Look how big her head is. It's very large. Um, <laughs> guys, Teddy's head is only in the. Forty third percentile. Forty third percentile. I was like, can you measure that again? And they're like, it's average. Um, but I think it just like needed to cook to get the flavors. Because when I first tasted, it was kind of blah. I added a little bit of chipotle seasoning and a little bit of creole seasoning. Um, a little bit more salt, but to the rice. I looks a little weird, but it's done. And we have bread. And we have bread. Let's eat. Gumbo, gumbo in a pot. What you got? Oh, the rice still needs to cook a little longer. Here is the finished product. I probably wouldn't have cooked it as long. The rice took a little bit longer because I feel like there's not a lot of broth, but it's very hearty and it's very vegan. <laughs> So ready, you dry like mom. Also, we never did find any plant-based sausage to go in, but that could be a good addition too. <laughs> What's wrong? They were so good, and so delicious, and so filling. I need to take my socks off and get my comfy shirt. <laughs> what are you doing over there with Buzz Lightyear? Look how thirsty Peter is over there. <laughs> Pepsi, coffee, beer. Water. Yeah. Candle. I'm showing Jamesy pictures of himself. <laughs> oh, that's mommy. <gasps> Look. Look, who's this? Wow. So I got really behind in organizing my photos over the summer. So now I've been doing it and it's taking forever. Ooh, we got a universal lanyard on. Gosh, good job. So we did not sign off last night. Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. Um, we, like we've mentioned before, we just have some stuff that's like buying up our time right now. So just be aware that we might have a couple of like two-parter vlogs um, in the future, in the near future, just because like we'll probably just be able to film like little clips of our day, like not full yeah. vlogs. Um, I consider just putting up little short vlogs each day, but it'll just work better for us yeah. to edit like shorter days into like two-part vlogs. So one vlog covering two days. We are a big fan of Cinderella. You should have seen his face when he heard her singing A Dream As A Wish Your Heart Makes. Cause that's a part of my like every night song bedtime routine with him. He's like, hey, I know this song. Also, yes, we're, <laughs> we're in the same outfit as yesterday. We got crumbs everywhere. Sometimes that's just how it is. I want to show you something that is... Massimo is teaching us how to make pasta. <laughs> Peter's got another work from home Look off and on. <laughs> how, you know, bubbly this pasta is. That means it's really well done. You know what it means living in Chicago? Getting a 100% suited up to just take the garbage out two buildings over. Full on socks, shoes, hat, gloves, scarf, jacket. It's supposed to be before wind chill overnight, like down to negative three. You guys remember when I used to just like run downstairs with no shoes on? And it was like 95 at 11 o'clock at night. We're kind of just living the extremes, I guess. I'm not sure if we said in the vlog what we're doing tonight, but we're gonna make some homemade pasta. But I'm gonna make me a little cocktail here. I am loving. I can get this open one-handed. Should practice this off camera. There you go. I'm loving these giant single round 
spherical is the proper word, ice cubes for my cocktails. So I'm making a quick little sauce um, that I'm gonna put my pasta in. It is a tomato-based sauce, so with Peter going running in the morning, he is not. We got some um, new vegan butter that we haven't tried before, so he's gonna do that in like a red pepper flake, like something simple on his. Um, but I wanna show you my sauce. I started with butter and garlic, and now I'm just cooking down some cherry tomatoes. I might eventually have to add some tomato puree depending on how saucy it is, but just simple. This just keeps getting foggy. And then I put salt, pepper, basil, a little bit of sugar, um, and then I just cut like three big pieces of Parmesan cheese and I put them in there to melt, which will give it a little bit more saltiness as well. Oh, James, do you want to make pasta? Where are you? My eyes have been adjusted to the dark. Is this right? I'm so sorry. Did you have a good nap? Do you want to make some pasta? It's so sunny out here. Alrighty, we used Massimo's. Um recipe 300 grams of flour two full eggs and then two egg yolks mix it on up there's our pasta dough we're gonna let it sit for a half hour a little damp cloth over it see you in 30 minutes Alrighty, and here is my sauce i added in some oatmeal and just one spoonful of my pureed tomato just to keep it like the consistency right but this is just gonna keep on cooking the tomatoes are gonna get nice and soft are you gonna share with me you've been eating Fritos oh. got out our fancy new pasta maker the Sicard's got us what do you think Peter I'm nervous <laughs> all right here's our first bat Batch. Sarah's gonna get the next one. We got it cut up and floured. Are you nervous? I am. Did you? I reached that to the to the biggest. You did. Okay. Yeah. Are you so excited? Your mom's super proud. The paisan. <laughs> What's the technique? That's it. Let go. You can't go that top now. It'll be too long, starting out already long. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe if we did it on like our table, then we can kind of, like, it wouldn't be going off the edge right here, you know? Yeah. Hey, she looks so cool, doesn't she? Look at all that pasta. <laughs> it's very long. I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. Massimo said there's gotta be a lot of bubbles. And there are. Amateur move. Our clumps of pasta clumped together. But we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. We have the rest drying over here now, so. That looks pretty good. All right. James is already <laughs> dove in the, the mom's. Here's Sarah's. It's really good. Sauced up and everything. I have not dived into mine yet, but there it is. I went with like a crushed red pepper, garlic, not really good whatever you're cooking vegan up. butter with a little bit of real cheese on top that we grated on both the pastas will we be doing this again yes wonderful sarah's hands have been kind of jacked up because of the dry weather look at them i did get good suggestions from katie peaches to do gold bond brand lotion it's but slip. it's bad it's gonna be even more dry and cold tomorrow <laughs> Do you want to see the baby, a baby's hair that looks like they just had delicious homemade pasta? 
Look at that mane. We're also still obsessed with Boss Baby, the TV show from Netflix. It's good. It's good. It's good? You reading your book in your chair before bed? Uh huh. You're right. Climate change is a problem. Uh huh. We must fix it, right? Yes. It's good to be home. <gasps> or signing off. So Disney has like an S3 Amazon link out there temporarily for you to look at the Art of Luca. Digitally. It, digitally, but I didn't know that they came out with the Art of Luca. So I wanted... No, I really haven't seen the Art of Books recently, but I guess Disney's kind of I, I saw them like Art of Soul. Like They're all there, I think. We just didn't see them. I think that Disney World has scaled back like having books out. Ever since... The best shop at all of Disney World closed. Rider stop. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put the link in the description so you can flip through if you want. But we did order it from Amazon, so it'll be here hardcover Thursday, I think. Wow. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Well, well. It looks sunny. And gorgeous out. But let me tell you, the wind chill is in the negatives no orange theory i'm back on the two two days a week kick but doesn't mean i am not getting my miles and i'm walking over to plan the fitness to get i think we're gonna get six miles in today um trying to figure out a training plan because i need to be training for august for the 50 50 but not like a training block, but also a princess next month. So I feel like I might modify a half marathon block and jump like into the last third of that one to get ready for princess. And then after princess, make a very long training block for 50-50. But I gotta stop vlogging because I took it to take my glove off. And when we woke up this morning, the wind chill was negative 13 or 14 or some ridiculousness so i gotta go good evening we are so happy that you're here we daily vlog <laughs> so if you like this video come back tomorrow he's very serious in the driver's seat we spent the whole day um with our friends lucy and lauren and i did not pick up my phone to vlog at all <laughs> black in my face Lauren's parents who live out of the state have been in town so it was great to see them and James to meet them um so we had a great day but I didn't have a I didn't bring a key to our apartment I brought the car keys um and Peter put them somewhere for me um while he was at the gym but I could not get to them while holding Jamesy <laughs> and it is 10 degrees out so we're just in the car staying warm until peter's done he's actually the timing was perfect he finished right when we got here, so. Ah! Ah Mwah. so i don't know if he started the vlog i don't know what this vlog is gonna ah! look like but <laughs> okay i knocked out six miles at the gym i'm gonna try and then i called sarah because i don't know if she's vlogging or not but she went to go visit lauren and she couldn't uh, get into the apartment, so they've been sitting in the car, but luckily it was like a 10 minute overlap. So I just ran in the Jewel to grab some quick dinner stuff. And now I'm gonna head home so we can all be in the warmth. How's your day without us here? Silent and lonely. Frigid. Oh, I come out uh, from putting James to sleep, and Sarah's got the mood going with this Taylor Swiftness.
Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are not at home. We're at the Sakars. <laughs> But we have the house to ourselves today because they're in Florida. Ooh. Sarah has to run a quick errand on the south side, so we needed to come. And I'm going to work the rest of today from here. And But look at this ridiculous drawer. Because I was like, we woke up later. Like, we wanted to get here before I even started my work day. But instead, we started my work day and then waited for a break and then hopped in the car to get down here during my break. But so I'm like, I need a cup of coffee because I didn't make a pack because that wasn't the plan. Look at this drawer I just found. So here's the Nespresso, because they're awesome and they have the Nespresso. And I'm looking at the drawers looking for their, their pods. And look at this drawer of pods. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I am looking and feeling rough, my friends. I started having a stomach ache last night before bed. Um, and I was like up most of the night. Like I never got sick, but just like a mixture of like acid reflux and just like really bad tummy cramps like i was it feels like food poisoning i don't even know if i've had food poisoning before but it just like feels off and we had um like some jewel chicken and tater babies last night and i did have a piece that tasted off i'm just so paranoid i don't want james to feel sick i just want to feel better all right 4 40 just sent my last email I had an afternoon full of meetings, but I have concluded them. Sent my last couple emails and I came upstairs because I was in the sub-basement taking those meetings and Sarah and James are taking a nap, which is good because Sarah was, uh, can't tell us if the pregnancy is starting to make her feel sick or if she's got a, a bug again. Um, and James was due for a nap, so they're napping. So I'm just kind of relaxing. Um, just gonna wait for them to wake up from the little afternoon nap and we'll decide how late we're gonna stay here or go back to our apartment downtown. We shall see. Jamesy and I slept for three hours. <laughs> I watched a bunch of World War II movies. <laughs> really? Not a bunch. I like, finished one and I started another. Finished that one. Are you paranoid about war or something? No. Then Jamesy was not happy when he woke up. Bum. But he's happy now. So what should we do for dinner, guys? What should we do for dinner? What should we do about getting home? I know, we don't like wanna... <laughs> when he was so upset, we didn't wanna like get in the car. <laughs> we think he's teething. He was crying and putting his hands so far back in his mouth. He's only got a couple left. Hey, I see it between those. Hey. I need to edit. Four-parter. What is this week? <laughs> Four-part vlog. <laughs> what is this? We were supposed, this was supposed to start in an hour. We're not even on the road yet. What is this? We're home. We put on Becoming You on our Apple TV. And we're playing in our sensory bin. <laughs> eat that Oreo, eat that Oreo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another very snowy walk home, but at least it's not in the negative wind chills. But ooh, it's coming down. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.